सो हेलो यूट्यूब द फाइनल डे हैज कम सो माय यूट्यूब स्टैटिस्टिक शोड मी दैट मोस्ट सर्च वीडियो ऑन माय चैनल इज फॉर लॉजिटेक जेड सिक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड जेड नाइन जीरो सिक्स ओके मोस्ट सर्च वीडियो ऑन माय चैनल एज पर एनालिटिक्स एंड रिसेंटली आई ब्रॉड ओनली सब ऊपर प्री ओन सब ऊपर फॉर दिस लॉजिटेक जेड नाइन जीरो सिक्स विच हैड विच आई कनेक्टेड विद द सोनी होम थिएटर सिस्टम सोनी एम्पलीफायर and i got plenty of comments that you are doing the wrong thing you don't know what is logitech and all you are claiming that logitech sorry jbl is better than logitech i also have jbl 5.1 soundbar which has the 10 inch subwoofer and it's uh, 600 watt rms so this is 500 watt rms setup but i don't know why the fan base on the internet for this system is crazy i i respect those guys but uh, they forced me to buy this just for review purpose and you know i buy everything on my own expenses so i am brutally honest about anything if it's good it's definitely good if it's not good if it has calls and nothing is perfect in this world so i expect this to have some calls but uh, i will share you the honest feedback about this so today i have brought this for uh, 27000 rupees uh, from an offline store in pune india so it is pretty big investment for me guys and i was i wasn't in need of this kind of system because i have all hdmi compliant setup and this i don't know how well it will go with the optical setup because this has only optical input so but i brought this just for the base heads and i am base head myself i already know that uh, this system is well known just for the base but the z906 particularly has very good vocals as well it should not have the good highs as uh, it doesn't have the tweeters so let's start with the unboxing now those who think like uh, in my previous video i got the comments like uh, you are not matching the amplifier and the subwoofer that's why i am not impressed with the base of logitech z906 subwoofer which i have i have in my upstairs uh, room but this is completely factory set pack piece so it's a brand new logitech z906 latest model manufactured in 2023 now let's see how it performs let's quickly unbox it the box is super heavy guys trust me only i know how i have brought it This is this pretty old system. I believe uh, it was launched decade ago, but it's still uh, one of the best system uh, considered. Okay, now quickly let me show you the specs and the box from all sides. As you can see, this is the front side, and uh, this is how the system looks. It has uh, one subwoofer, one controller, and five speakers. the center channel is uh, horizontal other all speakers are vertical number one selling pc speaker brand logitech claims themselves brand new piece okay manufactured by logitech is here by hong kong okay uh name of importer importer is from chennai This is speaker. What you will get inside the box is uh, five speakers, one subwoofer, wire, cable, control console unit one. Okay, remote, triple A battery, documentation. That's all. MRP is thirty five thousand. Uh, sorry, thirty six thousand round figure. You can say is the MRP. Manufactured uh, in February two thousand twenty three. Latest piece. okay here are some specs total wattage i'm not sure if you can read it or not but uh, you can pause the video and see it if you want i will read it loud for you total rms wattage is 500 watt subwoofer is 165 watt rms whereas logitech z623 has the 120 130 watt rms subwoofer so i don't know why there is not much difference in to subwoofer of this one and the z623 honestly as per me 
बाइंग टू लॉजिटेक जेड सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव मेक्स मोर सेंस और सिक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री मेक्स मोर सेंस दैन बाइंग दिस प्रोडक्ट लॉजिटेक जेड नाइन जीरो सिक्स इफ यू आर गोना लिसन टू म्यूजिक इन स्टीरियो मोड एंड यू आर नॉट गोना यूटिलाइज पोटेंशियल ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट वन सिस्टम ओके एंड इफ यू आर बेस हेड देन बाइंग टू लॉजिटेक जेड सिक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री मेक्स मोर सेंस I am brutally honest person. Whatever it is, I will say. Okay, I don't get scared of anyone. Now, very many people will come, and you don't know logic. Z nine zero six is a legendary system. I know it is a legendary system, but you should also accept the fact that it is very costly for the specs it's providing. It's very old age uh, technology, but uh, as the actual product is good, actual build quality of product is good. That's why people love this product. Even today, in even on today's date, and even on today's date, you can see it's uh, Logitech is manufacturing it on full potential. Okay, so uh, subwoofer is one sixty five watt RMS. Satellite speakers are sixty seven watt RMS all uh, each. I mean, okay, sixty seven into five plus one sixty five, you will get the total of five hundred watt RMS setup. Digital optical input, two optical inputs are there, which is good thing. One you can use for PC, one you can use for TV, and what or not, as per your choice. Digital coaxial input, okay, it has digital coaxial input as well. One digital coaxial input, so digital coaxial input should uh, support the DTS and all be digital formats. Six channel direct input. That means you will get three three point five mm jack cables, uh, which will come from your uh, PC sound card. Uh, you used to see that in old old age computers. So that kind of connectivity also you can do, but that will be virtual five point one, not the actual five point one. Actual five point one you will get only via optical cable. <coughs> And uh, DTS X uh, that is a superior five point one. We can say. That you will get only via HDMI. Okay, that's the compromise we will have to do here. Uh, so control console is there and remote is infrared type, not a Bluetooth remote. So everything here is typically old school fashion. Okay, you won't get anything high tech or latest technology over here. Now let's come. So I connected. Uh, I completed this uh, specifications. Now let's see what it says. Any device, either headphone jack or three point five jack, you can connect uh, whatever, what not. Okay, you can connect whatever it is with three point five jack. That's what they are saying. What's inside box? Four satellite speaker, one center speaker, some woofers, uh, speaker connection cable, six channel direct cable, which is a VGA cable, which is very old technology and very delicate technology, uh, which comes from controller to the sub woofer, uh, which I definitely don't like. Okay. Uh, which it's very thick cable, very uh, hard to use. You may, I mean, uh, you will have a mess of wires all over here and there. Three uh, wireless remote, three AAA batteries, and user documentation. One year limited hardware warranty. Why Logitech? Huh? This is most expensive thing you have in your in your basket, and still one year warranty. You should at least give three year warranty. Okay. Amazing five point one surround sound. One thousand watt peak. So this is uh, nonsense. You should uh, only focus on RMS wattage. Five hundred watt is true RMS wattage. Versatile setup. They call it versatile. Okay. I don't. Honestly, I don't think it's versatile setup. You only have couple of options like RC and optical. That's all. You are done. No Bluetooth. No FM. No HDMI. Nothing. Independent controls. Okay, so independently adjust volume of your left, right, and center channel and rear satellite speaker. Oh, okay. It doesn't make sense to adjust volume levels of left and right speaker separately. It's basic. Okay, why if this feature really exists? I don't understand why it exists. Why we will set the left and right channel output separately? That means your setup is not in sync. Your left channel is mounted over five meters and right channel over two meters. That's never gonna happen. And if if that is gonna happen, that is a wrong setup. Here. Now let's turn the box on other side. Uh, THX certified. I know it's THX certified. And you know, guys, this THX certified certification is provided when company pays to THX or Dolby Digital, whoever the, is the certifying company. 
okay this never comes for free so you are paying a hefty price just for this brand uh, just for this logo thx now let's quickly unbox it okay it's uh, packed from here i already open the box into the showroom uh, just to check that all the components are in place i open it up upside down let's start with the unboxing guys so box is pretty good packaging i i would say packaging is good no doubt about that little bit thermocol could have been better as you can see there is no thermocol this is my delivery children this is a user manual i won't waste your time in opening that now uh, this is how you will get the setup uh, let me change the camera angle so there are two main boxes i'll change the camera angle so that you can have the clear close view so this is one box and this is another box under this there is a subwoofer okay and under this there are all other components except subwoofer so we will start with the this one first oh sorry okay so this is the package this is how you will get your setup this is a remote pretty basic old school remote infrared style okay not a bluetooth one these are the cables 1 2 3 4 5 cables okay if you want to see the cable quality let me see if logitech branding is there i don't think it is there okay so this type of cables you will get five sets duracell three cells for your uh, remote control this so basic remote control needs three cells i don't understand why okay so this is a traditional cable 3 rca to 3 rca sorry 3 3 uh, 3.5 mm jack to 3 so this will distribute uh, 5.1 audio okay i think uh, this is for subwoofer this is for front right left this is for rear right left okay this is the console i don't know why they placed uh, the protective film over here only console is pretty light weight not too heavy manufactured in dolby laboratory okay the console is manufactured by okay so it has the dts and dolby branding on it so this is uh, tried and tested maybe designed by dolby only so here are six pads on which you will place it on your desk and it will get a very bulky very inconvenient thick cable now let's see if it is worth all the mess so beautiful speaker the only con i see in this speaker is it doesn't have the tweeter 
it's almost perfect system and its build quality is so damn heavy trust me guys but uh, it doesn't have twitter and another monopoly uh, maintained by logitech is they have not given direct a hole pass to mount it on the wall okay you have to buy the mounting socket or mounting setup separately from logitech you won't be able to directly mount it on wall which is very very annoying my sony speakers also have the direct mounting on the wall feature as well as they are provided free uh, mounting stand inside the box itself and its cost uh, is half of this setup still it has the hdmi and all connectivity this is made of metal i believe other all things are plastic allen keys should be of metal this mounting stand is of metal and old school type terminals push terminals and below you will get some rubber pads so that it won't move from its place now i will open the center speakers because all other speakers are pretty much the same another uh, drawback i would say is nothing is written on the speaker like this is a center speaker or this is a rear this is the rear right rear left nothing is written you will have to install it yourself as per your convenience because it uh, comes handy if you write something on speaker we are good that we won't make any mistake while installation the smell of brand new product is different okay it gives very good feeling i have done hefty investment guys i brought this brand new because uh, i got the comments that uh, your system is not new that's why you don't know the actual performance and all and all and all what not people don't hesitate to throw the bad comments anyway i am not uh, i'm not at all sad for that in fact i brought this due to those comments only i know this video is going to be lengthy but i want to show you each and every minute detail if you don't want to see the unboxing detail you can uh, skip this part i want to show you each and every minute detail so if you plan to buy this you should have idea how it is so package will come exactly like this so there is no thermocol used anywhere so this heavy speakers should not get damaged company should start using the thermocol no damages so far in my case nothing is <laughs> no noise as well from inside okay so there are some symbols as well on the packaging it's very well packed but uh, not a machine packed it's uh, packed by hands we can definitely what is it i'm curious to see the manufacturing plant of logitech basically this big brands invest more amount in uh, in the r and d and not really in manufacturing then most of the things are manufactured by vendor and brand just assembles it I am not sure if Logitech manufactures everything by themselves because the speaker drivers uh, used by Logitech in most of the I mean all of the system are made by Tang Band that is a very old brand who manufactures uh, drivers for many big brands I think only Bose manufactures their own speakers I am not sure on that part as well <coughs> very soon I will buy some Bose system okay now i'll quickly set it up uh, and i won't waste your time for setup okay let me unbox the sound for the most important part how can i adjust the sound here?
so this is going to be heavy task i hope i can do it all i needed a big workbench to to do this unboxing so i selected my <laughs> dining table for it because i don't have such a big table to do unboxing of uh, this big thing people call it monster but it's a really a beast okay now let me unbox the subwoofer i will open it and then i will show it to you This is the subwoofer. It comes in this kind of packaging. No thermocol used here as well. Only cardboard. Such an expensive system. Still, uh, they don't use the thermocol. I'm pretty surprised. Lovely. This is main heart of the system. It has very mild Logitech branding on it. I'm not sure if you can see that. In newer model, they have made some changes, I believe. It's very heavy. This is the latest model. If someone is buying brand new, so this is perfect video for you. And that's why I am showing every minute detail to you. Every minute detail. So the subwoofers looks the same as my old one. Oh, but the logo and dust cap design is changed. The grill is exactly the same. Uh, also the exterior uh, of this subwoofer and my old subwoofer is the same. Okay. So here there is minute. You can see dent. That's why I'm, I'm saying the packaging is not good let's explore this from the back side this is main cable okay so this is the main part there is no heat sink or fan installed on this uh, model and that is a complaint from many many people i have seen some people installing fans over here uh, but they abuse their system. I'm not gonna do that But if required I will be installing the fans over here Because if you buy the expensive product you have to buy the expense uh, You have to pay for its care. Okay, so otherwise It will ask for the maintenance and that maintenance is Gonna be very very hectic because this product is almost not repairable almost if something goes wrong inside this or that controller you have to trash it okay that's why people are scared to buy this some people are lucky who are using the same product from 10 years but uh, i have seen some people facing issues in couple of years itself and the warranty on this product is only one year they give give you hand to hand replacement if something goes right goes wrong inside the warranty period but after warranty period, they say, we don't know how to open and repair this product. This is not repairable product. This is claim done by Logitech to most of the people out there. Okay. That's why this is very, very scary investment. Invest it only if you can afford to bear its uh, malfunctioning. Okay. If something goes wrong, I believe uh, it should not go wrong. And uh, it's a very good brand, very reputed brand but uh, it should not be delicate in a performance i believe the build quality and all is definitely top notch no doubt about that you can see beautiful port which goes downstream it's a l shaped port actually and has the aero curvature on both of the side inside as well as outside here is the big amplifier
this is how the cable looks beautiful design now i will set it up and we will have, have a sound test quickly So I am done with the setup. You can see mess of wires. So if you want the real 5.1 audio system, you will have to bear this mess of wires. So I connected with Ox right now with the smartphone. And the length of two rear speakers is higher than the all three <coughs> remaining three front speakers. The two rear speakers have the longer length cables but uh, it's nothing written on the speakers which are the rear which are the front so you will have to decide yourself which you will be installing on the rear side and which you will be installing on the front side okay so now let's start with the sound test let me give you a quick glimpse i already started it and uh, it performs best in 4.1 mode but uh, why logitech did that because i will have to compromise with the center speaker this is not for show i want to get the vocals from these speakers as well so if i convert it to 3d mode then all five speakers will work let me show you if i click on effect see this is a 2.1 you can focus on lights over here this is a 3D mode where all five speakers will be active but uh, that won't work easily because you will face a disturbance. I mean it will alterate the original sound and you won't get the actual bass from the subwoofer. That's the main main disadvantage of it. Now let me turn it to 4.1 and this is the best. Okay, I just did the short test and from that I discovered it. And I set all the levels, you can see, subwoofer level to the half, rear speaker level to the half, and total level to the half. Let me change the effect to 3D. Okay, now see, subwoofer to the half, <coughs> rear speakers to the half, center channel to the half, and all speakers to the half. Okay, I don't know where I will get the feature they called, they have mentioned it on the box, let me show you that. You will have a flexibility to control uh, right and left channel separately. Sorry. Versatile setup. Okay. Wait. Not on this side. Hmm. See independently adjust the volume controls of left right and center channels and rear satellite speakers okay rear satellite speakers i understood it's true subwoofer i understood it's true <coughs> center channel i understood it's true but independently you cannot adjust the volume of left and right channel at least i have not discovered it right now i don't understand logitech can do such a big blunder oh printing something on the box and something in actual reality uh, anyway as i said before it doesn't make sense to control these two front channels separately okay now let's start with the sound test so as i said before i, I played a short uh, test and from that i have noticed that uh, one thing i want to tell you the premium expensive sound systems will have high excursion subwoofer and what it does it throws the bass far away from its place that means i installed it in the big room uh, big house this is ground floor of my bungalow and this is uh, around 1500 square feet area internal area only i am talking about and this thing is throwing the bass waves, the bass notes far away from its place. 
that means i can hear it till my main gate okay and that's brilliant that's brilliant uh, sign of the premium subwoofer high excursion subwoofer okay and jbl also does the same job now let me hear a couple of uh, low bass notes and then we can come to the conclusion so as i have not completed the break in period i won't be being harsh on this system right now i will keep the volume only on 50% extreme high notes which will go directly into your ears those are missing okay the clarity is amazing the softness is amazing no distortion I, actually i am not playing it at full potential so distortion <coughs> is out of question but no distortion at all uh, the sound quality is amazing i covered that part already the best part about this is the bass okay so the bass is really really good at least the tonal performance of this bass is premium it's not a cheap boomy bass okay it's very very premium uh, bass which will which <coughs> you will enjoy during your gaming or uh, your movie session that is what the 5.1 system the true 5.1 system is designed for it's not just for uh, loud music and uh, loud boomy bass 
no fake bass over here okay literally no fake bass it's very pleasant to listen the music for long hours when you don't have any fake bass in your system so the actual drivers of this system are best okay ultimately best okay so the drivers are best but the bass uh, i would say i would have to increase a bit to my taste because this much bass is not enough for me personally because i am a bass head and i am used to have a heavy bass heavy music systems all my life and even in my living room i have heavy bass systems and one subwoofer is not enough for me most of the times but for a common man this is way more than enough i am not saying just more than enough way more than enough if you compare to other brands it's not loud but it's very pleasant and it should be loud but i am not going to test it at that potential and i am not going to comment on that part at this point of time i am going to make multiple videos on this setup in future and i am going to use uh, install this into my studio upstairs it's a small room but uh, i expect a good performance from this system okay so stay tuned for that video now let's play some other track so that uh, you can have some idea but uh, this was my honest review the system is brilliant i would say it's worth its price but little more features won't hesitate me to add more uh, money on it okay i'm not concerned about the budget i'm concerned about the features and if i'm investing some hefty amount in in this kind of system anyone would be ready to pay some extra amount if it's getting the future proof features like the dolby atmos support and the hdmi 2.1 support all this you will add into this system then uh, this will be best investment for long term everyone will buy it i definitely want to push this message to logitech that they should they need a serious improvement or uh, a serious upgrade into their system okay overall as a basic system i would say this is the best system you would have in this budget because uh, even if you compare it with the higher brands like flips audio denon and jbl they are very very expensive when you compare with this price range okay in 27000 indian rupees uh, there is no other competitive system which will have potential of this kind there is pole audio uh, magnify mini uh, which will come in this price range denon uh, soundbar will come into this price range but there you will have to compromise with the true 5.1 audio output yamaha 1840 would come into this price range but it's nowhere close to this one it distorts on the max volume and its subwoofer is pretty much useless just 50 watt rms subwoofer they are providing with the avr but it has <coughs> many good features as well as it has a 4k pass through in their avr and it uh, supports uh, 5.12 audio now let's uh, hear one more track and then we will finish this video sorry for the lengthy video but i wanted to cover as much as i can okay once uh, in next uh, time i will connect it to my lg 4k tv by optical uh, <coughs> connection and we will test true 5.1 content on netflix okay and in that case you will see a decode light over here glowing on because it will decode internally actual 5.1 audio and you will hear actual 5.1 from all the speakers right now we are just uh, listening to stereo signal from multiple speakers which doesn't make any sense Let's have one more song.
I'm not sure if you can see any mules. Let's try in 3D mode. The bass will reduce, but all speakers will work. OptiCare from Matrix. Did you know OptiCare is used by over one lakh professional hairstylists? Right now it's in 3D mode, that means all the speakers are working. Door is vibrating and volume is just 50%. The base level is on 50%. Brilliant. Everywhere. I can feel the vibration. Hope that this will not be deleted from the video. Okay. So now let me be honest with you. The tonal performance of the bass, I'm just focusing on the bass, is really better than JBL. Okay. So the softness is really better than JBL, I should say. And if this subwoofer beats uh, the JBL 5.1 system <laughs> in long run when I will increase the bass because even in JBL 5.1 system if you keep bass to center now you won't be satisfied in fact I was not satisfied so I had to increase bass from 0 to plus 20 
in my JBL 5.1 soundbar. So it has the 10 inch subwoofer, subwoofer driver, but still when you keep the base on flat, I mean the center, the base won't be overwhelming. Okay. Uh, once you cross that limit, then only you will feel that base is enough. But right now in this system, the base is on 50% and I cannot increase the base uh, at this point of time because this is a very, very serious investment for me. Uh, so I want to wait till the break in time. But uh, if this system beats uh, at 50% volume, at 50% base level, then really trust me, this is going to make wonders when I will max it out. Not the volume, but the base, base I will keep on max and the volume I will keep low because my focus will be all the time on the base only. That's the purpose I have brought this system. And that's the secondary purpose. Actually, the primary purpose is I have brought this system for you to make an honest review. Okay, it's warm on the back side, which uh, I was expecting. Uh, not abused it much, but it's uh, warm. Okay, it's not cool. Logitech should provide some heat sink or some fan over here. The active cooling would be better, the fan. I don't know why Logitech has not taken precaution on that part. Okay, I almost spent over an hour just on testing. I have not had my dinner yet. So all these efforts were just for you guys. Okay. I am seriously giving you final conclusion. This is a very good system. <coughs> I do not regret investing in this system at all. Because uh, when I will install it into my room and I will enjoy music on even on mild volume or at max volume. This thing does the job great on all the volumes and all the genres. Because... Uh, the taste you have should be uh, of rich side, not a DJ type of songs or uh, the boomy bass songs which you see uh, the people playing on the local brands and claiming that they are based into the bass. Okay, so that's not case with this one. This is really, really good and premium and this brand has actual uh, R&D in audio. So they know the audio very well and People are installing this setup, Logitech Z906 setup in a professional home theater system. You mean, you know, the professional home theater system, I mean, is uh, where you have the recliner chair, the projector and whatnot. Okay. So there they are using this kind of system, even though it is a decade old system, but still they are using it. That is because they know the actual, actual physics of audio. Okay how the sound should work that is uh, very well balanced in this system okay <coughs> so if you have overall requirement of having the long term investment i would still recommend you to go with this system and use it via optical uh, you won't miss a lot on it uh, you will miss some features but uh, not a lot on it I am going to add the Bluetooth driver to it. Uh, definitely it won't support Bluetooth because it's a Bluetooth driver. It won't support any 5.1 signal. But it will give me some flexibility. Okay. The, that thing I am definitely going to do. And uh, I will connect this uh, in my next video to my LG 4K TV uh, via the optical out. And we will test a true 5.1 output on this system. Okay. So sorry for taking your time and making this video lengthy. But I wanted to cover as much as I can because this is most demanded video on my channel and I tried to invest my time and effort in it. Okay. So thanks for watching. Those who are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It motivates me to buy such stuff and uh, explore more things for you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Live loud.